Well, hey guys, what's up? What is going on out there today? Brent Abel here, webtennis.com, another episode of What's the Right Shot? And uh, yeah, right about here, yours truly with shot choices, right on this uh, relatively high forehand volley. And uh, what are you thinking? What what would be your shot choice in this situation? And look, I mean, one of the <laughs> one of the challenges with what's the right shot is is I haven't told you what's led up to this point in the match, right? And there may have been a situation prior to this where my eventual shot choice kind of made sense to me, right? Now, maybe in other situations, different matches, different opponents, uh, something similar to this, I might have chosen something something different. Um, look, I mean, what's, what's wide open? Obviously, just go ahead and play it right back between the two players, regain some decent court position, and just let's just kind of take it from there. So here's what I end up thinking is that my, my opponent who's up at net frequently likes to pinch more of the middle than what he's showing right now. And I'm just kind of guessing that might happen. And I'm also guessing that if I do go between the two players, that, you know what, I might play it right to him. I know he's got a left-handed, you know, he's, he's left-handed. He's got a forehand right there lurking in the middle. And so if I play it there, there's a chance right here at contact that I won't be able to get back into any kind of decent core position. So all that said, I'm just anticipating he's going to pinch more of the middle. He doesn't, and uh, and that's why I ended up playing it over there. And look, um, am I going to be able to pull this off every time? Of course not, right? Of course not. This is This is just one of those shots where, and again, I don't know, and you don't know. I mean, I, I can't remember. I can't remember the match well enough to be able to tell you. Hey, the score was forty love when when they were serving, and I'm not going to call it a throwaway point, but maybe it's a point where even if we lose it, I can establish a thought in their mind that, in terms of my shot choice, in any future upcoming situation like this, that they got to cover this right, even if we lose the point, and so. There you have it. Um, let's get into the technique of this shot a little bit. First of all, it does require early prep, right? So that you feel like you're at least holding them accountable for they don't know what you're about to do, right? And, and, and so, so the racket's prepped early, so there's no kind of last second, let's get it out there behind the, the eventual contact point. To be able to pull this shot off, you've got to get around the right side of the ball. You got to get around the outside corner. That's your contact point. And from there, if you, if, if you do that, there's not a lot of technique involved, right? It's just basically giving it a little outside of the corner, firm nudge over there. Yeah, it's a little bit high to low, but it's not much, right? It's not a big high to low hack. It's just around the corner, create a little bit of underspin, right? And and there you have it. And look, if I don't hit this thing perfectly, am I in trouble in terms of core position? Of course. So I would say probably if I was to go back and look at the entire match up to this point, this is probably a 40 love lead at this point for these guys. And I'm just thinking, all right, you know, let's let's go ahead and show them something for future upcoming points, and that's the best I got. <laughs> All right, look, I'm gonna play this point for you real time once, and then I'll do a slow mo version of it as well coming up. Any questions, any comments, remarks, feedback down below? Let me know what's on your mind. Uh, and as always, uh, time for us to all get out there. Got to help someone else have a spectacular day. Guys, see you again next time.
was helpful for you. If so, please click that like button on YouTube. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell as well. So you are always alerted every time I go live and or upload new content. And yeah, uh, if you've not picked up my course yet, 20 minute private video on the four parts between points routine, you got to get on this thing. It's a huge difference maker in your game. 80% of the time when we're playing a match, guess what? We're not playing points. That time is spent between points and on side changes. And when you manage that time really well, you tend to consistently play the other 20% of the match, which is, yeah, during the points, you tend to play at the very top of your skill level, point after point after point. Go on over to webtennis.com, drop in a first name, email address, and you'll get immediate access to that private free video on my very specific four parts between points routine.